called a true to life ripped from the headlines epic story. The cartel is a sequel that spans the past decade of the Mexican American drug war and the men and women who wage it. It's written by my guest, acclaimed author of 19 books and a former private investigator, Don Winslow. Welcome to Evening Edition. It's nice to be here. Thank you. Now, Don, after you wrote The Power of the Dog, also about the drug war, you said you wouldn't write another sequel, but here you are. What changed your mind? <laughs> Yeah, after I wrote Dog, which took me about five and a half years, you know, I thought I was done with this drug business because it was grueling, it was harsh. But then looking at the events in Mexico, and we live not far from the border, of course, uh, and seeing how this violence was spiraling out of control and we seemed to be in sort of a new phase, I finally decided, you know, I don't think I could sit on the sidelines anymore. I want to continue this story. Now, this is a composite novel of sorts. It's it's based on true stories, but, but it's sort of this composite composite idea. How much has changed in the past decade since you wrote Power of the Dog compared to the cartel? Well, a lot, you know, pr principally, I mean, it's been the militarization of the war on drugs, that the drug cartels went out, hired their own private armies, made up mostly of former special forces uh, soldiers. And so that triggered sort of an arms race with the drug cartels. So if one got a little private army, then the next one needed a private army. And then when the government came in, they realized they couldn't handle it with regular police forces. They brought in the army. And so what had been a criminal activity became a war. Now, you said the war on drugs, and this is your, a quote from you, Mexico's dr is, is not Mexico's drug problem, it's America's drug problem. What do you mean by that? Well, we're the buyer, aren't we? So no buyer, no seller. So, uh, you know, we often point our finger at corruption in Mexico. If I were in Mexico, I'd be looking north of the border and asking about the corruption up here. What's the corruption in our collective soul that makes us the largest drug market in the world? Um, you live in San Diego County, yes, and you touched on this. Uh, we live close to the border. Do you think that we have a, a better understanding of the drug cartel, of the drug war, because we live so close, or do you think it's easy, just as easy for us to look away? No, I think people on the border do have a better understanding of it because we live with it every day, because there is proximity, because families are on both sides of the border. There's just much more communication between an area like San Diego and, and Mexico than there is, say, Ohio or Pennsylvania. So proximity, yeah, I think, you know, familiarity. Now, uh, you name and dedicate this book to 130 journalists who were murdered or disappeared during the time that you were writing this uh, book, The Cartel. Um, why was that important to you? You know, I'm not a journalist, I'm a novelist. And these two novels together, The Power of the Dog and the Cartel, tell the story of a 45-year-old vendetta between a DEA agent and, and a drug lord. So I write fiction, but I think all writers are family in a sense. You know, if they're not my brothers and sisters, they're my cousins. And so I felt a responsibility as someone who sits relatively safely on this side of the border uh, to acknowledge and to honor those journalists who are killed, who gave their lives trying to tell this story. You know, uh, the main character in your book uh, tries to face down the devil without losing his soul, as mm -hmm. it's written. Uh, do you think this drug war is winnable? No. How come? Well, uh, as long as we make drugs a criminal matter, only criminals can sell them. If only criminals can sell them, there's no recourse to law. If there's no recourse to law, then there's only a recourse to violence. And so as long as drugs are prohibited and we still want them at the same time, this war will continue in one form or another. And it sounds like you have an idea then the most effective way maybe to end this war. Legalization. Of? Drugs. All right. Author Don Winslow, thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you I so wanna, much. Yeah, I want to uh, let folks know that Don Winslow will be talking about the cartel at Warwick's tonight at 730. You've got some time to get over there and at the Mysterious Galaxy this Sunday at 2 p.m.